Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. We've launched our first uh, batch of frigates out. A couple combat frigates on the combat mission. They probably have about 20 minutes or so left to do. So we're going to go out now and something weird happened. I thought we had a planet with activated copper on it here. And then I went in and see which one it is because I wanted to go back and look for more, you know, between um, episodes, and yeah, I don't see it, so that's a problem. So we're going to return to the mission agent, we're going to pop off into another system, and I guess we'll see what happens next, I don't know. But that was a little annoying, I was like, what the hell? up. We never spent the five million dollars I said I was going to spend. But yeah, let's go on and do this. I think we've only got one mission to turn in, which is fine. Yeah, kill 11 creatures. But gets us that expansion slot, which is super cool. So look at that, now we can get fuel and all that, so that's cool. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's boogie on into a new system. We'll pull our freighter there. First, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to... There we go. Break all that down. Put that that on our main guy. Break down all this tritium hyperclusters. That'll give us more tritium. And of course the occasional antimatter. Put that on the main guy too. Check it out real quick. Yeah, let's put that on the ship. That goes on the ship. These are a little bit extra resources here. That's fine. We got a cool club. A lot of neat little phenomena in the game now, you know, that you come across. Oh, really? You got a guy who wants to fight. Oh, 120,000, what do you say? I say we take him. Oh, he came in. Fierce. Looks like he's in a little attack. Really? Wanted to take me down to the you deserve that. Couple Corvex casings. Alright, nothing special, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, let's move on to a new place. Let's check this one out. This is a Viking two star. A lot of planets. Maybe we'll find some activated copper here. We're going to be smart this time, though, and summon our uh, freighter right away. That way we can scan everything in one shot. We don't have to look around and, and figure out where we want to go. If there's an aggressive sentinel planet, we are definitely going there. There's the black hole, of course. That's not what we wanted, but that's okay. That's what we wanted. You can see our one frigate should show up with it. Where is it? Pop in a little late. Huh. I thought I only sent two frigates out on that mission and I had a third, but I could be wrong. I doubt it. Yes, my uh, girlfriend is never wrong. Alright, so we're here. Let's go on up. And do some scanning. Now you see right there, there's those two ships. They're blue, that means the mission is still out for the frigates, so when they're green, that means they're back. So that's kind of cool. Five planets, alright. 
No, no, no. High sentinel activity and high sentinel activity. We got base salt on there, but we really don't need that right now. When we need it, we'll get it. We'll get a ton of it. Eh. Nothing really interesting here. That's all right. What we are going to do, two things. We're going to the space station. And then we're going to exchange... Oh, there's our thing. It was up front. We're going to go to the space station. When we leave it, we're going to summon the anomaly. We're going to go trade our ship out for that piece of crap busted one we have. Bring it back to the space station and just scrap it. That way it's not taking up any room. I don't know if you guys know, but since the practical update, you can have 12 ships in your uh, fleet of ships. Up from 9. Used to be 6 when I started, so that's badass. If you're a ship hunter and you've run out of slots, well, take advantage of that. If you beat the new expedition, the Utopia one, well, awesome. Now you can put that new ship in your inventory without sacrificing a ship. All right, what do we got here, buddy? Anything good? Yeah, we'll take the creatures. That'll get us five salvage data. That's nice. Exosuit expansion? Hell yeah. We're really getting some good uh, potential prizes now. Let's see what this guy has for us. Every now and then they give you something great. Usually it's just some nanites or units. A crab apple. And <laughs> sometimes they give you a crab apple. So there's that. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Can I just consume it? Let me just eat the crab apple. Thank you. Done with it. Alright get our little upgrade here. Thank you very much. And we've really got plenty of money now, so that's not an issue. It never, you know, we handled this uh, playthrough very well, you know, money-wise at least, as far as making money goes, so that it was never really a big deal buying those. You can chase around the uh, drop pod coordinates if you want. That's up to you. Personally, I find that a little aggravating. But, you know, if you don't mind, see, that one says activated copper, maybe. Uh, I think looking at the actual planet as opposed to looking at it through the scanner. Ah, uh, well, I learn something new every day. So, we can scan it, it will only say copper. But if we look at it directly, it'll tell you activated copper. Well, maybe it's worth landing here. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so just like when you're on a base, boom, you switch out your ship. You don't have to worry about fixing launch thrusters or anything to leave from the anomaly like you do from the planet's surface or from your uh, actual freighter. So it's a good way to get that burning, crappy ship that's ready to explode off your hands. We're going to have to go look for some activated copper now. I really wasn't planning on that. But why not? Now, between uh, this video and the last, I did add something to the freighter. The only thing I added was a, a tiny hallway and a uh, exocraft summoning station so that we can bring those exocraft down when we're searching for stuff. That'll make things so much easier. Let's claim the scrap. Just immediately trade in the uh, stuff that we got for it, the upgrade modules. So you always get, you know, based on whatever level the ship is, B, C, S, whatever. I'll trade that crap in. You know, we're not even going to bother looking for modules right now. I would rather go for X modules. To be honest, in the long run, they tend to be more valuable. Alright, good. We got a guy landing. We're going to want to sell off the ship parts. Oh, we got a storage augmentation. Perfect. So we're going to want to sell off the spools of nano cables and the subatomic uh, regulators. So 
about 1.3 million right there. Nothing special, but hey, we may as well do it. Alright, so where are they? There's really no way to put this stuff in order. That's one of my biggest frustrations with this game, is just like your inventory when you're trying to sell stuff. I wish I put it in the order that you had it in your uh, inventory or at the very least alphabetical order some kind of semblance of order it just seems to be totally random to me it's kind of a neat little stubby ship there huh tiny little clipped wings with an R2 unit alright well, nothing that we're interested in taking on so yeah let's head on down to uh Ogorda P18. Let's see what it has to offer. It looks like it's a heavy water planet. No, there's a lot of land. Okay. A lot of water too, but yeah. New planetary record, coldest temperature. That's one of those new features that came out with the latest update, the 4.1 update, so that's kind of cool. Um. See if we got a trading outpost nearby. Alright, not too far out. We'll climb a little bit. It definitely feels smoother going in and out of the atmosphere. You used to have that moment of jank that let you know exactly when you went into or out of the atmosphere of a planet. Now that moment is gone. You know, so it's a lot smoother, which is good overall. I mean, for gameplay experience, it's good. But as far as understanding, like, oh, wait, you know, I've left the atmosphere. I can come back down or whatever. Yeah, you don't know that anymore, so we can leave. It is what it is. All right, let's cross our fingers. Extreme hazard planet. Well, we got an S-Class, uh, yeah, we got an S-Class deposit really close by. Will it be what we want? I think we needed to kill creatures again anyway. So we'll take some down. I do want to take on the uh, Sentinels, but I really haven't found a planet with any. I mean, I'm sure we can find them, but... more fun to go to one of those planets that has uh, aggressive ones because then they're just easy. You can just go find a, what is it, I think a Gravitino Ball, and yeah, they come at you in force. Now that sounded interesting. I think I heard a special ship land. Is this how we're going to play it? Okay, that is how we're going to play it. It's like right on the side of here. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's figure it out. Ow! Oh. Alright, we're going to do this. There we go. Well, we definitely need silver, so we're going to set up shop here. I'm not going to build the base right now, but we're going to save it off. And I'll come back a little bit later. So we can build it up and start mining silver because with silver, yeah, we've opened up the ability to get platinum and just a ton of other stuff. All right, a little silver done and done. Awesome. Back to the ship. We're just going to 
and dig a tunnel right through this uh, big towering mass of rock. It's the shortest distance. There's always a straight line. Oh boy, here. We're in trouble. Let's just bring our ship. I know it hurts, it hurts. Hurry, land. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we can't avoid that. Alright. Things you do for resources, right? I love the screen when you get frozen, man. It's just crazy looking. here. I thought I heard a special ship land. I could be wrong. It could have been something entirely different, but I thought I heard an exotic land. I could be wrong. If we did find an exotic, well, that's kind of badass. Get up in here for a second and just take stock of things. crystals. Get rid of this. Can we consume it? There you go. Nice way to restore health, right? Alright. We're pitching the rest. We don't need it. I'm just kind of goofing around there. Not a bad looking fighter. That's awful. mediocre. Alright, well, a silver base is a good base. So I think that was an excellent find, even though we didn't get activated copper, which we don't really need, you know. Yeah. But that was kind of badass. And I'm very happy we did it. Alright, checking everything out again. No damage to our suit, right? Yeah. So yeah, we can upgrade our ship and our multi-tool, but there were still no aggressive sentinels, were there? None there, none there. So high sentinel activity on, on pack two. Is that where we were just now? No. The other frozen planet, which, where is it? Is that it way out there? No, that's definitely not it. Sentinel activity. Much better chance of taking down some Sentinels. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to collect all of those goodies. And by that time, we should be able to get our uh, our ships back, you know, from the uh, frigate mission. So that'll be fun. I think they should be back here in about five minutes or so. Ten minutes. Tops. Look at this area. That's really neat looking. Gotta love it. Alright, well, let's go back to this. Boom, boom. Trade outpost. Just because I like a place to maybe hang my hat. There we go. Again, two minutes away. Not very far. Perfect. Well, we overdid it a little. But that's okay. I can't wait to do this in VR. You guys will be able to hear me throw up on uh, on the mic. <laughs> I 
awesome landing. Andre, I might have beat you as far as drunk driving landings go. I don't know. Oh, so bad. Here we go. Oh, this is just rich. Oh, we nailed it. Okay. I thought we were going to land between them. Alright, so we need to find ourselves a sentinel. And then we need to piss it off. Which honestly shouldn't be too hard. Normally all I have to do is walk around and mine stuff that I need and then the sentinel will find me. Get our pulse spitter ready. Hey, bud. We got Strider here. Hey, Strider. Killing creatures always pisses off Sentinels, so I'm not being mean. I'm just trying to attract the wrong type of attention. Take the Mordite. That guy's got a weird looking head. Oh, that's so gross. Look at him. Hey, you're just an abomination, bro. Riders. Well, look what we got here. We got some floating crystals. You don't come across these very often. They're like, um, let's show you what we get out of them. They're kind of like the curious mold, or the curious deposits that we get the mold from. And I believe you find them on the same planet. They just kind of, if you see one, you're going to see the other. So... This could be an interesting planet to have. We may find some more curious deposits here. And if we do that, well, it would lead to a definite second mold base, especially if it's a good amount of uh, mold. You know, if I only find four or five, I'm not going to bother. I'm really at a point now where I've got plenty of nanites for the most part. If I want more, I can just, you know, farm them up real quick. But, hey... Alright, so let's take a look at what these things do. See, they give us these glowing minerals. Let me check them out. And I got a bunch of different stuff from them, including a tritium hypercluster. We see that already. But yeah, these things are worth money, and you can also break these down sometimes for silver, sometimes for gold, and different types of things, so they're really cool. Sentinels yet, guys? Come on. What do I have to do here? I'll lead him less. There we go. Stupid plant. Oh, here's a baby. Oops, sorry, baby. Strider sausage. Just kind of sad looking. I think I hit. There's a sentinel. Got his attention too. All right, now we're talking.
Now we are talking as a healer guy. I don't remember how many of these guys we had to kill. So we're just gonna mess around with them for a little bit here. Where's the next batch coming from? If things get too hairy, we'll go underground. Gather these up and get our glass and all that good stuff. Hey, I see you. Any more? Here they come. Let's get a little higher up here. All right, they're sending the elites out now. Face my elite gun. Did he get stuck in a hole? Oh, I thought he did. These guys are a pain. Especially one of those little buggers healing them. Or two. Screwed. Come on, man, get out of here. Well, I know I've killed enough. There we go, he's dead. These guys summon more, so we'll take him out. Take out the healers. Another healer. Sometimes you get multiple healers and they'll be healing each other and that's really aggravating. Whenever you're in combat like this you can kind of refill your shields a little bit by picking up those combat supplies to drop. And sometimes it'll restore your health too. If you want to. There we go. We've got our shields back a little bit. Alright, well we've definitely done enough. So they're sending one of those big guys after us. It's like the Minotaur suit. So we are going to call it a day. Head back to our ship, which is right up the ridge here. something else to be angry about. Lots of frost uh, crystals there, but we don't need it. And we got the search. So that's, that's a big one. Woo! It's a different one than the other ones, man. Wow, he's huge. Every time I do that, it kind of resets the uh, search for me, so we're going to stop. We're almost back here anyway. You got half a minute left, and they'll call off the search. But in any case, once we get up here, we're secure. Even though the trade terminal's open and all that, when you're under the cover of it there in the middle, where all the guys hang out, it considers you safe inside, you know. That's kind of a weird thing about the game, like, even like when you go to 
different buildings, a building with an open door. One of the guys can follow you in, and he still isn't going to attack you. You can attack him, but he's not going to attack you. You're safe. So basically, all you have to do. What's up? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And that. And that. We got one more glowing mineral. So there's another one, Lemium. So yeah, all those things, they're worth having. You can make those. Um, they're not hard to make. You just got to buy the recipes or locate the recipes. You know, usually it's a combination of two or three different... Uh, basic resources to do it. And then you're set. Alright, well, let's go. Off to the space station to cash in, because we got a ton of crap to cash in. And from there, we'll just teleport over to our wonderful little freighter. And we'll check in on that mission, because that mission's definitely over. We'll see what that got us. It's always cool. You can launch up to five missions a day, so as you get more freighters or frigates, you're going to want more of those um, command center rooms. I put five in immediately. I had the resources for it, no big deal. Um, you know, if you don't have the resources for it, you don't need to build that many until you need it. Now, early on, sometimes your missions will run for multiple days, you know, longer than five days. So, you can only have five running at a time in the... Or you get five a day. If you have five running and a couple of them take more than 24 hours when the missions reset the next day, you're not going to be able to launch anymore until they come back. So, you won't be able to launch all five. So, it's good to have more until you have the ability to make your missions faster and all that, then it really doesn't matter anymore. So, there's that. Alright, we got that done. Wanted to do that while I was thinking of it. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the ship. And we were short. And then we're going to go ahead and um, cash in all these things. And then it's off, like I said, to the freighter. See what happened and be done with it. You can play this game as slow or as fast as you want. I kind of have done so, so many hours in this game. I like to just get in and do a bunch of crap and then get out, you know. All right, let's hand in these missions. Salvage frigate module. Very important. Fuel oxidizer. Not a big deal. Five. Salvage at 25 cores. Once one crystal. Multi-tool. Five more salvage. And another multi-tools. Oof, that's great. And look at this. All right, but that's still... Out. We haven't done that yet, so whatever. Finding predatory creatures is not always the easiest thing. They tend to show up a lot on um, frozen planets, it seems, but again, that seems to be kind of a random thing, so. I'm not really worried about that, so. Yeah, look at that. Three multi tool slots, right? We got an S class. We'll be able to pop three more on here and we can really start building this gun up and making it better and better. Which is cool. Or do we just hold off and wait for a better gun? I don't know. Alright, so we're back on. And now you see it. Those ships are green. They're not blue anymore. That means the fleet is back. This is what we have on our freighter. Everything they gather is going to end up in the freighter's inventory. We debrief the commander. And you can cycle through this to speed things up, but we're going to just take our time with this one since it's our first one. You will get bored of this and start hitting circle, circles. I think it's circle or square, whatever, just to get through it. You'll get a mix of crap and good stuff. 20,000 units, two Corvex casings. 29,000 units, that's not bad. I mean, you know, it's not a lot at first. The shorter missions net you less stuff. The longer the mission, the better. 50 Indium, okay. And then we came home. So we got about almost 50,000 um, units for that. Not great. And then some other garbage that we really didn't need. But it is what it is. We got it, right? 
this is gold. And now it should have gone into the freighter, I thought. Maybe they, that changed. Well, anyway, so we got that. We got a fuel oxidizer. We can use that as a temporary frigate upgrade on one expedition. Um, some ion capacitors that we can sell for crap. A little Indian there. I don't know what these are from. A salvage glass, you can break that down. You'll get different stuff for it, including... Stuff like this. We got an exosuit fragment, right? See how we have already three of them? We've already done this before. But we'll check it out just to see if it's any better. Eh. I'd say dismantle it. Let's check this one out. Okay. A little better than this one, right? Solar panel power. Yeah. That's got four things. Sprint distance and shield strength. Eighteen percent. Yeah, we'll take the sprint distance over that and the core health. We'll say goodbye to that one. And you see it gave us a couple ion batteries and wiring looms for breaking it down. Now we go back up front. Talk to him again. And you'll see that mission is now grayed out. It's not automatically replaced until the next day. And I think it kind of changes over around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I could be wrong on that. Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong, if you know the exact time. But that's just kind of a ballpark for me. If that's not right, it's kind of close to that time. All right. Well, thanks for joining me, everyone. If you found this uh, interesting at all, helpful, or entertaining, please leave a like on it down below. It would be greatly appreciated. As always, I'm Cat to Beefy with the Game Vault. This has been No Man's Sky. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And ring that bell for notifications to do these videos daily. We're on our way to a thousand members here, a thousand subs, and I can't wait to hit that mark. That is my goal for the near future. Any help you can give me is greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.